Hi guys. Okay, so um, I've just been watching a video by Mums the Witch, and it's called Heavenly Accent Tag. And I don't know. I just thought <sighs> I haven't done a tag video in a very long time, so I'm gonna have a go. And yeah, I don't know. As a linguist, I I find accents really interesting, and it was kind of fun to watch. Why is my hair always doing such crazy things in videos? Um, it was fun to learn about different people's accents. So, heavenly accent tag. Where are you from? I am from a place called a place where we can't hold Gamma Street. I am from Chester, which is in the northwest of the United Kingdom. And yeah, I live in in Cheshire, in the county of Cheshire. Pronounce the following words. Okay, you ready? Ant, roof, routine, theatre, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, New Orleans, pecans, both, again, probably, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, pyjamas, court, naturally, aluminium, crackerjack. Doorknob, elephant, it doesn't even say elephant, it says envelope, can't read either. Caribbean, doubt, toast, screw, road. It's added in elephant there, I'm not sure, it must have been the elephant in the room. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Um, pop, a fizzy drink, but I think I'd, I'd probably just call it by its brand name <laughs> and I'm totally flummoxed by this question and I really don't understand it at all so if someone can explain it to me that'd be fab what is it called when you throw toilet paper over a house? I don't know, stupidity? I, I, I will have to google that because I, I don't get it <clears throat> what would you say to address a large group of people. Hello, hello, hiya. Hi. Okay, something like that. Hi. What would you say? No, 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 no. I read that one. This is not a good time to make a video. What do you call the spider with an oval-shaped body and an extremely long legs? <coughs> Or multiple legs. Um, I'd call it a daddy long legs. Is it cold where you live? It's kind of a moderate climate. Rains a lot. It doesn't get too hot. It doesn't usually get too cold. It's just kind of fair to middle in. And usually quite grey. Uh, what is your favourite colour? I would say very dark purple. Do you have freckles? No, not really. What was the last thing that you drank? The last thing I drank was coffee. Uh, would you prefer to have a million dollars or a million friends? That's easy, I'd pick a million friends. Would you rather eat a taco or a quesadilla? Hmm, it depends what mood I'm in, but I would say probably a taco because I, I'm kind of a crunchy type of person, but I do like quesadilla as well, so it depends, but probably I'm going to go for taco. Would you rather be a shark or an elephant? See, there's elephant. That's where the elephant is in that question. Would you rather be a shark or an elephant? Um, I don't think I'm much of a predator, so probably the elephant. What do you call sports shoes? A waste of time. No, um, trainers. Some people around here call them trainees. Trainees! <laughs> um, if there is anyone from sort of the Liverpool area watching, you'll know what I mean by trainees. Trainees. Um, so yeah, trainers. Running shoes. What do you call your grandparents? I have two sets of grandparents. My paternal grandparents I call Gran and Grandad. And my maternal set of grandparents I call grandma and granddad. 
and then my um, paternal grandmother that she passed away a few years ago now but I used to call her Nan so yeah grand granddad grandma and granddad Nan what is the thing that you change the TV channel with it is the remote or the clicker TV remote clicker do you think you have an accent um, I think for the UK my accent is quite neutral <clears throat> but everyone's got an accent of some description but Cheshire tends to have quite a neutral accent for the UK particularly for the north of England anyway choose a book and, and read a passage from it okay um, the book that I have to hand would be this book on trees that my lovely husband has just bought me literally today so this will be the first time that I'm reading from it and in fact let's read the back it's nature's guide trees the world in your hands and on the back it says trees discover and explore trees from around the world with this compact and easy to use guide packed with information on more than 500 species Nature Guide Trees is ideal for nature enthusiasts everywhere. It covers every major tree group, including conifers, broadleaves and tropical trees, with full-page profiles of more than 300 of the most spectacular species. Stunning close-up photographs bring each tree to life on the page and highlight key features, such as bark, leaves, fruit and seeds. Written by forester, broadcaster and author Tony Russell. And if you're interested, it is published by DK and it's ISBN 9781409330899. And then just to give you an idea, if you look, if you look at the pictures, I'm going to drop my phone. Can you see that? It's got some awesome photographs. So I'm so excited. I do love my, love my husband. He brings me the best presents. So, yeah, that's the Heavenly Accent tag, and I totally butchered most of it, but I'll try to write out the text and the thing you're kind of supposed to be saying. Mm.